Hi all, Chris here and just as a matter of interest I'm going to show you today where all the TV sets in my videos have ended up. Um, most of them are still here and the Thompson Telecontrol TS3652 isn't here but it's at my dad's house in Canberra. So anyways, here we've got my little um, 5 inch portable AWA AR45BW television obviously receiving picture from over there here I've got, this is my Computech um, personal television, I'm fixing it at the moment over here I've got my iMac G3 it's um, getting some repairs it, um, main high voltage electrolytic capacitor needs replacing unfortunately it's cracked, I'm going to glue that back together, hopefully it won't be noticeable under the um, cover of course here I've got my Sony Chinatron still in faithful surface after all this time but now I've got an old Xbox hooked up to it so yeah, that makes things fun over here we've got my um, little Philips natural 10 ka910 um portable television it, it's just kind of a static display unit because it um is vhf only here i've got my um awa p1 it's still being restored uh, over here this is a high hour set along with my Trinitron and National. I've got it hooked up to an, an, to an old AM coil antenna from a um, hi fi system. Here I've got my National, which is also a high hour set. It's got its own antenna here. Has never been found. Uh, it needs a bit of work, which of I'm going to do today. Science has already solved decades old mystery. <laughs> Got some little CRTs there. And in here in the guest room, I've got. Looks like someone's been using this because it's not set up the way I had it. I've got my little Powersonic 13.5 inch television hooked up to a set top box. And this is the guest room. There's some instructions I jotted down for it here. I'm not sure what the set top box is doing down there. And that's how the dogs will get hold of it down there. And it's a good little set and it just connects to a wall jack there it takes a few minutes for the set top box to load though but it's a benefit that it came with its original remote I suppose I better do a program search for it now um. There's my room there, some insulators outside. Over here I've just got a little older model Teak um, LCD television, analog only. This used to be my stepfather's, now it's just kind of sitting here. Kind of cool. Up here is my Teak um, TV and DVD player combo unit. I still use it a lot because I've got my workbench here and it comes in handy having it up here with a DVD player so I can watch, um, well, so I can listen to CDs while I'm working. Then in here inside, I've got um, a few more CRTs, deflection yokes, 
bits and pieces, three CRTs there, one there, and my Senyo, got an old radio chosen there, no peaks. Might interest you, um, CRT man, I got it for two bucks at a second hand shop, intending it for my iMac G3, then I realised um, the iMac G3 has USB ports only, doesn't have a PS2 port. So, now it's just kind of sitting here, but it's a good, it's a good keyboard, it works as far as I can tell. This thing isn't loading. It's kind of a slow telly, it takes a while for it to kind of get with it. So. acting up today, that's odd. There we go. Usually, usually this thing works perfect. But it's a good little set. Um, yeah, here's my Sanyo. It's a very nice television. The only problem is it I don't have a remote for it. So in the meantime it's going to be here. And I hope I can find a um, remote or a universal remote that will work with it. And then lastly just down here a spare old Xbox. Um, funny little portable DVD player I picked up. I just found it out on the curb along with some other stuff. It's really odd. A little Sony. Sony MP3. Uh, let's see what model is it. I don't know if it works or not. I don't have any adapters which will fit it to plug it in. But it's a nice little thing. I like to get it working. And then, yeah, down here I've just got a set top box. I've got a this is standard definition, I've got a spare high definition one in my room. VCR player, DVD player and VCR com VCR DVD combo player. So, yeah, there it is and just back in here, I don't know if you can really see but I've just got a stack of old remote controls as well. So, there you have it. So that's where everything of mine has ended up. So. Yeah, so it's still a little, I've still got most of my stuff aside from a few pieces like a little Conker television I had, which unfortunately had to go to the But I'm now on the lookout for some old 70s sets again. I've contacted the local council um, to see if the um, if local um, waste management centre can set aside any vintage televisions they received so I can come and pick them up so we'll see how that goes, I'm waiting for a reply from them it should come back on Monday so and there you have it so at least they're all still going to good use so yeah well cheers then Chris <laughs>